collecting more details about what Gardaí believed was being stored in this property. Yes, that's right, Colette. Much of the evidence this morning was in relation to that search warrant that was executed on the home of the former Sinn Féin councillor in Dublin on the 9th of March in 2016. Evidence heard in court this morning from Garda Inspector Podrick Joyce, who, Boyce, who executed that warrant. He told the court that it was his belief that Jonathan Dowdall was a member of the IRA, and he said he came to that belief due to briefings he had received and other information that was in his his possession. He said when the search warrant was executed, they were looking for evidence of firearms or explosives. He said he believed that the premises was used to construct firearms and explosives for the IRA. Now, he was questioned then by senior counsel Brendan Grehan on behalf of Jerry Hutch. And then Mr. Boyce said that there had been no firearms and no explosives found during the search of that premises. Now, before Christmas, the former Sinn Féin councillor Jonathan Dowdall spent eight days in the dock where he gave evidence and was cross-examined. He claims that Jerry Hutch told him in the days following the shooting dead of David Byrne at the Regency Hotel in February 2016. He says Mr Hutch admitted to the shooting, but 59-year-old Jerry Hutch with an address at the Paddocks in Clontarf in Dublin denies the murder. The other issue this morning in court was a legal application um, challenging the admissibility of certain pieces of CCTV footage which was obtained by the Gardaí during their investigation following the shooting dead of David Byrne. The three-judge special criminal court here says it will rule on the admissibility of that CCTV footage tomorrow. Thank you very much for that update.